So a nice one for Easter, even though it probably won't be Easter when you guys see this. Um, we've just finished Angular Momentum with level three. And one of the things I quite like to do after talking about Angular Momentum um, is to give the kids two eggs. Um, one has been hard boiled and one has not. And so I challenge the students to see if they can work out without cracking the eggs, which one has been hard boiled and which one has not. And so with Angular Momentum, um, they should be able to spin the eggs and stop it and you should notice a different effect between the two eggs so again this one stop it let it go continues to spin this one spin it stop it and it remains stationary okay so there's no more rotation on that one i'll demonstrate it one more time stop and this one get a bit more of a spin so after stopping it, it continues to rotate, okay? And so then I would ask the students to um, you know, make a prediction, and if they're feeling confident, then they can take their chosen egg that they believed is hard boil over to the bin and try and crush it in their hands and um, you know, see whether they're correct or not. Um, but that's a nice little one for angular momentum. One hard boiled, one not.